My motto is don't be bored, make something. When I was in school, I would start tinkering with things around me and I realized that other people are probably the same way. We have a consumer-based culture and it's important to know how their products are made and how they work. A maker is really anyone who has the passion to make or build a physical object. Making is just inherent in who we are as human beings. I think wearables is definitely one of these hot new areas that a lot of people can participate in. Three years ago, Joey Hooty appeared on our radar screen. He's worked with the folks in our maker shed to kind of create a product and kits. The wonderful thing about kids is that they don't know about rules. They've got this wonderful view of the world where they take risks. What comes out of it is pretty amazing. I think that wearables should be allowing us to enjoy life more. There was a challenge at my hackerspace. My group made um, a jacket for the dog that we call Daoge. The lights would change depending on how active your dog has been during the day. And then the Bluetooth would be able to send that to your phone. From monitoring your body to creating sensor networks that can actually respond to something on your body that you're wearing. Wearables is kind of a wild west and a whole new frontier and I think that the makers actually enjoy that too. Right now there's all these glasses that are coming out, but there's several issues with each of those brands. Display and control interfaces are probably the two biggest issues right at this moment. That is what I've tried to solve with this idea of mine. My design inspiration is based off what I wish was in the market right now. My glasses will be able to have prescription lenses and you wouldn't have to wear two glasses. The display will be binocular and you'll be able to have headphones so you can use applications that use audio. The control interface will have a 3D sensor. With that, you'll be able to just gesture control and then you'll be able to use EEG sensors in order to control certain interfaces. The glasses will be able to send music over and communicate through Bluetooth. Another capability would be that it would have micro HDMI. This would enable you to be able to display maybe your computer screen onto the glasses. In daily life, I think that wearables could enhance living experiences. I like to ski, so with my glasses, I would be able to see where I went wrong if I pointed my skis in the wrong direction. The tools that are out there are enabling makers to try new things, to push the envelope and think a little bit outside of the box. Right now, people that are paralyzed from the neck down, they have to use their eyes and then a camera looks at their eyes. Hopefully, with more research into the EEG section, uh, it will be able to use your thoughts in order to type out and it will be able to help them communicate easier. There are lots of cool things that you can do in the wearable space. What's great about the DIY mentality is this openness, open source, people can come together and collaborate. It really advances technology a lot faster than if it was done in closed door labs. Makers should go into this field and try to find new routes for more people to actually develop their products. That they can use their creativity to make this market more diverse and open new fields.